Scorpio. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading for, whoa, sorry, trying to, trying to get that nice and straight. Um, this will be your reading for December 24th and December 25th. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for commenting. Just want to send my gratitude out to you. And uh, if you want a private reading or if you want to sp sponsor the channel, um, look in the description box below. Now, we start with pulling in the divine white light to bless us while we do this reading. Bless you as you watch this reading. Calling in our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. People that, um, or spirit that wants to give us messages for the highest good. The sign of Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, so we're going to start off with Oracle cards and then maybe clarify it with the tarot. Whoa. <laughs> this is Spellcaster's Oracle. Spellcaster's Oracle. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I think that's what meant to come out for sure. We have animals, trust, and talent. All right. So, animals, trust, and talent. There we go. Animals. Let me look in the book and I'll tell you what they consider to be the magical meaning of these cards. Okay, this means either train as an animal healer and communicator, support and campaign for animal charities, a deceased animal companion is still very much with you, and an animal brings you healing. That's nice. Okay, trust. Trust. All right, trust to this in this book means, and always remember what you think it means first is probably more accurate for you, but hold your cards close to your heart. Be careful with whom you share your ideas. The person you've inquired about is trustworthy. Open your heart. It's time to trust. Nice. That might be trust in spirit. Um for helping you get to, you know, your life goals, your life purpose. So we have talent, 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 talent. Share your talent with others. Practice makes perfect. Shine your light. Sign up with a talent agency. Go for what makes your heart sing. Okay, we're going to do one of these next. All right, we will see how this ends up connecting with everything in just a moment. Can I give us more information on these? All right. This is Kim Cran's deck, the uh, archetype deck from the Wild Unknown. Let's get a card for Scorpio, December 24th, 25th, 2020. What do we have for Scorpio? All right, Scorpio. Ooh, nice. The king. Maybe the emperor uh, energy, the Aries emperor energy. Let me, let me look this up for you. The king. The king, and there's some kind of stamp there. Looks like gold and a stamp. All right. This means the ruler, the commander, or the emperor says if our lives are imagined as a kingdom containing the entire spectrum of human experience, the king presides over it all. Through the lens of the king, we assess the state of our land, make decisions, and rule accordingly. Therefore, the king must be thoroughly and regularly vetted so that, that it avoids corruption. Recognize the dual nature of the king. He is either seated in benevolence and strength, guiding you towards peace, or he is oppressing the weak out of a need to control. Not much middle ground. So it can mean benevolence, divine leadership, service, and nobility. Once the king's relationship to divinity is broken or challenged, he often acts from a place of fear, scrambling to uphold his image and power. All right. Well, and let's get some energy cards. So, ruler. Ruler. 
ruler over something in your life. And maybe like the um, patriarch of the family. Maybe really dealing with a Aries. Okay, we have healer of the ages. Trust. And right next to the king too. Then for the talent, we have the garden and the gate. The garden and the gate. So this is about, I think this is about exploring your talent a little bit more. Um, since she she is all about um, ha wanting to go out and explore things that haven't been explored yet. And I think that that's the talent part. And then this, the healer of ages, touching the king and trust. I think it means to trust your spiritual team to help you. And in some way, animals are tied to this reading. Whether it's an animal that's passed on that wants to give you a message or or a new animal. It's something. Something with an animal. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's That's crazy. So we have the fly, a period of ill health and depression, but it's right here. It landed right on top of the healer of the ages. So, yeah, I think reach out to your spirit team, definitely. Um, heart, love, deep affection, and caring. Weeping willow, family sorrow. Family sorrow, I'm going to stick that one up there. Uh, pig, beware of greed, beware of greed. And I think this is going with the king, you know. And then bowl, plenty of material things, plenty of material things, just trust. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do, um, let's do a wisdom of the oracle. We haven't done one of those. Let's do that. For Scorpio, December 24th, 25th. 2020 and thank you spirit all right for scorpio i think it's this one all right observer this card calls so that it comes around when you need to start viewing um something from a different perspective maybe having everybody's feelings into consideration with it um, the observer. Uh, the fox is also really good in business and, uh, you know, thrifty with their resources. May have something to do with that, too. Uh, but it definitely requires that you have a different outlook on something, maybe from spirit point of view. Maybe even to have an outlook like you're not going to understand, but you just trust. Let's go with the trust card. Ooh. Trust. Page of Pentacles. That news of money will come in that good news for money will come in for you that is why that card shows up it does show up a little bit later than the other cards but but this does mean good money news coming to you somehow let's do one for um let's do one for observer for scorpio observer we have king of swords could be talking about some kind of authority and we have five of wands so we've got conflict libra gemini or aquarius and then we've got the it, it's kind of like conflict but i see the five of wands more as argument more as people bumping heads all thinking that they know the right answer um that's how i view this card so speaking your truth it's come it's about something that where you have to speak your truth where you have to see things for what they are um, coming from a logical, you know, the brain, coming from the brain, logically think of things. And I think this five of wands is just stating that there might be some maybe idea arguments around you. All right, let's get one for, let's try to figure out what this period of ill health is. Poor Scorpio. Oh, that one wants to come out. Justice. Justice. Something will be made fair. Something will be made fair that perhaps was not fair in the past. And, yeah, it, I think it might have to do with the healing. Um, justice card, you could be dealing with a Libra. But whatever it is, it's about the truth because we have the sword again. 
So we have the sword again. It's about truth and clarity over an issue and balancing the skill, the scales out. Maybe balancing a mood too. Could be about that. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, sending much love and light out to you. Join me for the next one. Bye.